This week, DVB Debate discusses who will benefit from Burma's tourism flood. For decades, Burma's tourism sector suffered under military rule. But over the last two years, political reforms in Burma have seen the country open up and thousands of tourists are now visiting every day. On the panel this week, Jozwa Min from the Myanmar Tourism Marketing Committee, tour operator A. Jor, Kim Mon Pyon from the Myanmar Hoteliers Association and reporter Ong Thura, who specialises on tourism. Panellists discuss whether Burma is ready for the onslaught of tourists predicted this year and raise concerns about high hotel prices and limited accommodation. According to the Ministry of Hotels and Tourism, 2013 saw just over 2 million international visitors enter the country a growth rate of 93% compared to the previous year. The Tourism Master Plan has set a target of over 3 million international visitors in 2015 and 7.5 million by 2020. The rapid increase in foreign visitors has seen the tourism sector struggling to keep up with the demand, but these problems don't seem to have put visitors off. It is very, very um, open now. So I like it. I'm also struck by the religion, Buddhism, I think, uh, which gives to these people a gentleness and an innocence that you don't see too many places in the world. I kind of polluted, yeah. So uh, that's the only thing uh, get get my attention during the last couple of days. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's not as touristy as Thailand, for example. It's it's very hot, but we expected that, um, and very dusty. Tourism has seen a spike in foreign investment and joint ventures. Burma currently allows 100% foreign ownership of hotels rated at three or more stars, and many Burmese-owned hotels have a foreign partner. Panelists disagree on whether steps should be taken to ensure more opportunities for local businessmen. <laughs> The studio raises concerns about sustainable tourism, preserving the culture and environment. Tourism development has been explicitly linked with displacement and forced labour and in the past, tourism revenues appeared to go directly to generals with little benefit to local communities. Now some NGOs are trying to ensure that these issues are monitored. There is no transparency about who benefits from the planned tourism development zones, and we want to know um, whether the communities are being consulted um, within these uh, planned development programs, or whether they, it is a top-down um, development approach, uh, we worry about a lack of meaningful um, stakeholder consultations and we particularly worry about land rights. The studio generally agrees that more needs to be done if Burma is going to be prepared for increasing tourist numbers and in order to ensure local communities benefit from the change. You can join the debate and watch the full programme in Burmese at dvbdebate.com or share your views with us by commenting on our website at dvb.no.